Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of the My Kitchen Club Spiralizer. It's the best spiralizer and peeler you'll ever see. You notice on one side, both edges look the same. This side will peel and slice anything from a pineapple or a rutabaga or a beet down to a, an avocado, an apple, a kiwi, a tomato on it. So you can peel anything. Most of those things you can turn into planks and you turn it over. Now you've got the side that'll turn anything into noodles. If you watch this for a few minutes, you'll see all of those demonstrated. Let's start with the thing that everybody likes the most, the zucchini. It's a big wow in here because all you have to do to make zucchini noodles is take that noodle side, side with the small blades on it, and turn it into noodles. Just that simple. You can use these, toss that into a, uh, on a plate, put some spaghetti sauce on it, you're ready to eat, put it in a salad, put it in a veggie slaw, it makes great noodles on that. Now you turn it over to the side that's for peeling and slicing and use it. And now you're getting zucchini lasagna or put a few of these pieces together and make zucchini enchiladas. They also can be used for zucchini raviolis, for uh, sushi wrap, for all kinds of hors d'oeuvres. It makes for a wonderful piece of equipment on it. It's just that simple to use for doing your zucchini. Now, all it's doing, let's move this out of the way is you're peeling it in either direction. You can peel forehand, backhand, overhand, underhand, like the politicians do on it. Peel it in any direction you want to do. You do it in one direction, now you're getting more consistent thicknesses for doing decorative rosettes, or d'oeuvres, that sort of stuff. Or if you're using a potato, you can do potato chips or whatever you want on that. Turn it over to the spiralizing side, the noodle side, and now you're making noodles. Of course, they don't call it noodles with carrots, they call it julienne, but that's how easy it is to make your julienne noodles. Nothing difficult about it. When it gets to be too small to hold on to safely with your hands holding it in the air, don't hold it anymore. Put it down on a counter or on a cutting board and you can start peeling it that way. Or you can do like I like to do, I like to pretend like I went to chef school. So I'll grab a fork or a knife, I'll put it in the end and then I can peel that or turn it into noodles as far down as I want to go. As a matter of fact, I can actually peel this or slice it all the way down to the cutting board so that you're not wasting anything. And you notice my fingertips never got in danger at all. One of the things I find most exciting about the My Kitchen Club Spiralizer is what it can do with butternut squash. Butternut is one of the hardest things Mother Nature makes, and it's got a reputation of needing to cook for an hour or two just to get the skin off or to cut into it. Now this is a fresh, raw butternut, but watch how easily I can peel that. Now the secret on this is not to put a lot of pressure. Butternut is so hard, most people figure you gotta put a lot of pressure on that to make it work. But the problem is, if you put a lot of pressure on it, you can't do it. The whole secret is, don't put pressure on it, you just put it on, on there and pull it toward you. The more pressure you put on it, the harder it is to do. Now turn it over to the noodling side and start making your noodles. If you notice, those come off very easily. Now instead of having to cook this for a couple of hours in order to be able to turn it, uh, or to be able to cook it, what I've done instead is turn this into noodles that I can toss into a salad or into a veggie slaw right now, or my favorite is put this in a saute pan with a little oil and a little garlic. In about two minutes, that's ready to eat instead of the two hours you're used to with that butternut squash. There's nothing difficult about that. One of the other things that people get really excited about is peeling a pineapple. Most of the time, people use a knife to cut the outsides of a pineapple off. When they do that, they find that you're going to waste about a third of the pineapple. If you're using a core tool to get the core out of it and get the outsides off, you're actually wasting about a th um, half of the pineapple. You do it this way, and see, I can very easily get through the outside, and just a few strokes, I can get right down past those eyes on it. I can create fruit strips that I can use 
for fruit roll-ups or creating fruit sushi on it, I can use one of the eye tools here. This side is a pineapple eye tool, and I can pop those eyes right out so I'm not wasting any of that pineapple. It becomes very simple. You do that all the way around, get as much of the slicing as you want on it, and you're done with that pineapple, ready to eat. Your butternut and your pineapple are both very tough hided pieces of produce and require a very tough blade to peel them. The My Kitchen Spiralizer has that kind of blade. You're not going to dull it. You're not going to harm it by going after very tough pieces like pineapples and butternut. But sometimes you want to do something softer, like an apple, a peach, a pear, a papaya, a mango, an avocado, or a tomato. Tomatoes, for most of the time you've got at home, they're very difficult to peel. But you see right here how easy it is to peel a tomato. Even a tomato that's overripe and about ready to pop is very simple to peel because, as you see, I'm not putting pressure. I'm just pulling on there. And you see how thin those are? It's very thin pieces of skin, so you're not wasting anything, and you're not having to work hard to get that off. So things like a tomato or an avocado, a kiwi, a papaya, a mango, all of them are very easy to peel. Now, a tomato you can't turn into planks, but a papaya, a mango, they're very easy to plank, turn into those um, pieces like the zucchini lasagna I was showing you, or to spiralize, to turn into those noodles like the zucchini did. Now, the thing that we do most often as far as peeling goes is still the potato. And potatoes are one of the biggest pains in the neck to peel on it. Most of the time they're oddly shaped. But as you can see, peeling this is very simple. I don't have to sit there and do it one direction. I can if I want to do it in one direction, but I can peel it in either direction. If I do it in one direction, I start getting more consistent thicknesses for things like potato chips. Leave this on here when I'm going back and forth, and I get the ribbon cut for larger chips or for our gratins or scallop potatoes, that sort of thing. And you turn it over, what I'm getting instead is hash browns. And by the way, it's just as easy to do hash browns or potato chips with a sweet potato as it is with a regular potato. I'm going to show you that right now. You can see how easy I can peel that. No problem. Do it in one direction. Now I'm getting potato chips. And if I turn it over, I'm getting hash browns. Now here's something that most people haven't thought about. Now that butternut that I did was very hard. Most people don't dream of trying to do that raw, but you can once you've done it this way. But now sweet potatoes, done the same way, are delicious. Imagine a cross between a really firm apple and a carrot. Gives that image of a juicy crunch. Now make it sweet. And that's like what you've got when you've got the sweet potatoes this way. Put that in your salads, put that in your veggie slaws, put it in a saute pan with all the other veggies on it, and you've got a delicious addition. Or one of my favorites is I'll take this, shred this whole sweet potato, put it in a bowl, sprinkle on a little bit of blue cheese or ranch dressing, and I've got a vegetable sundae that's sweet and absolutely delicious and refreshing. You can take your onions and peel those. They're a bit of a pain to peel all the time, and you get all the tears on it. But when you see with this, I'm peeling it, and I'm not getting the tears on there at all. Go right down to it, get through the outer part so you get rid of the tears, get rid of the peel all at the same time. It makes it very simple to do. A lot of families spend a lot of extra money they don't have to by buying cheese that's already shredded up in a bag. When you do that, you're getting all the wax on the outside, you're getting all the uh, sawdust that's in there, and you're spending about six bucks a pound extra for it. With the My Kitchen Club spiralizer and peeler, you see how easy I can turn around and slice that. It makes it great additions to be able to slice it for hors d'oeuvres, put it on sandwiches that way, or you turn it over and see what's happening. Instead of having to spend six bucks a pound extra, I'm getting those noodles right now that I can toss into a salad, that I can put over um, a, a saute pan, wherever I want it. Now my cheese is fresher, it's better tasting, and I don't have to spend the money to pay somebody else to do my cheese for me and shred it. 
Cabbage is something you should be able to shred fairly easy on it. I've never done it with this. But all I'm doing is taking on the corner there, rubbing it back and forth. And so easy, I can create great cabbage for salads, for veggie slaw, for coleslaw, whatever you want to do there. Just find the corner and go back and forth on it. And you're shredding your veggies or shredding your slaw that easily. Again, rather than spend the money to have somebody else do it for you, do it yourself. It's fresher, it's better tasting, and it's less expensive. Now, there is one thing that I almost forgot to show you on it. Everybody who steps up to my booth sees these uh, fun-looking little pieces of cucumber. I call it glamorizing. It's a very simple thing to do. You take the uh, pineapple eye tool or the potato eye tool, slice the end off your cucumber, do this, all, put it right on the edge, go all the way down, all the way around like that. And now you're getting those nice uh, cucumber sticks that you can eat on your own that way, or slice those up, put them in salads, whatever. Or take these stars, you serve them this way. People love the little stars on that. And it has scientifically been proven when your food looks better, it tastes better, people eat more of it and enjoy it. All that is is putting it on the edge, going all the way down, all the way around, and slicing it. A whole cucumber takes no more than about 30 seconds to glamorize. Now you've seen most everything that the My Kitchen Club spiralizer peeler can do. There's a reason we call it the best spiralizer in the world. This is a recap. There's your noodles for your zucchini. That simple. There's nothing out there that can do the noodles as fast and easy as this can. This can. You can start eating your spaghetti noodles right now. Put them in a salad. Put them in a slaw. Use them wherever you want. Save money. Have fun. And eat healthy now.